Thank you again for being here. Tonight's performance of Illumination is going to be actually the very first, and so I hope that you enjoy this through as best as I'm able to do it. Now, of course, it was recorded in a day, but I'm going to attempt to play it all in a row. If you know music in any way, shape, or form, you might imagine that there could be some stories behind this, so as I go along, I'd like to share these things with you just a bit. The first track of the album is called Dega, which is D-E-G-A, and the reason that that is called that is because that's the order of the notes. Uh, but it also happens to correspond to the open strings, which I will tune appropriately after this. But then it will go immediately into, as it's a chance to find the resonance of the instrument, into the first through composed piece of music that I wrote, which is called Cyclone Number no. One. And there's a video of that. If you ever get bored, you can always just Google it. It'll be fun. But thank you very much. Here we go on a journey. Thank you all. I also need to thank, once again, Dan McClanahan. I haven't said his name, but you're in McClanahan studio, and isn't it a nice space?
you. So, that was called cyclone number one. It is uh, inspired by some of the weather that we sometimes get here in this lovely state of Iowa. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna move right along to another thing that we have in this state, which is often charming downtown areas. And this next piece is called Sweet Shop. And it's named after Stamm Chocolate Shop. So if you are familiar with that, you're very lucky. Uh, and if you're not, you should be. <laughs> stormy side of things, not because I'm feeling stormy, but you know, in truth, the music that I've written has often been a case of me processing something, or a period of my life, or just having the inspiration for something that might not be achieved in any other way. And this next one, you're going to hear some sounds that you probably wouldn't normally expect out of a performance violin. But I promise they're supposed to be there. This piece is called Tempest.
for the beautiful floral arrangement, both on stage as well as in the stairwells, in case you noticed. She took the stairs. Yeah, that was pretty cool. And also, back alley plants, which is no longer in a back alley. It's right on regular Main Street. <laughs> and uh, we brought this stage greenery, so I just, I thank all those people as well. Yeah, free. The next piece. I wrote for a friend's wedding. Now, this piece was intended to be the theme and variations, but naturally she was so excited to get down the aisle that she heard basically the first one. <laughs> anyway, uh, she has since heard many of the variations, and I hope that you enjoy it. This is Corey's theme. Oh, and while she would have loved to have been here, she has a new baby, two young children, and they're in Texas.
So this next piece, cycle number two, will showcase a lot of things, but it will probably draw some parallels to cycle number one.
thanks very much. I'll open it up to any questions if anybody has any. No? Okay, that's fine. Just trying to remember the rest of the album. Should have brought one of those up here with me. Oh yeah, I remember now. <laughs> anyway, the next piece is called Margaret's Tale. Now Margaret, rest in peace, is Kari's mother. And she, for lack of a better term, was a queen of tango, uh, considering so many things. And it is thanks to her and the family down there that I gained a huge appreciation for the state and the natural beauty that is held in 95% private hands. Not theirs, but just, you know. Did you know that Texas is in 95% of Texas is held in private hands? There are some stuff. In any case, I consider myself very lucky to have gotten to experience some of those things. And it's been an adventure. And Margaret was never one to shy away from adventure. Hope you enjoy Margaret's tape.
myself to play a patriotic. Um, and I'd like to play America the Beautiful for you. The next album work was actually inspired and improvised in the studio. I had no preconceived notions of what I was going to play in the studio, and I'm changing that here because I feel like it, because it's Memorial Day weekend. But uh, I think it's a beautiful country we live in, and it wouldn't be ours without many very sincere and serious sacrifices. So to celebrate this beautiful nation, hope you enjoy this. actually about snowfall, and I have a quick story about that. As my mother was at home in her final times, we had a musical, prayerful experience, and I played violin whilst my father and some dear friends sang. And it happened that there was a light snowfall that started falling, and that is something that my mother loved. And so I enjoy snow. I like rain. She likes storms, too, so that's pretty cool. Um, but this piece is celebrating snowfall, which I know y'all are done with it in the summertime now, but <laughs> don't forget to enjoy it when it comes back.
Monty, I've got two more for you. So, I consider myself incredibly lucky in many, many ways. And one of those ways is by having had Julie Fox Henson as my teacher growing up, because she not only taught me how to play, but she taught me how to enjoy it. So thank you. Julie, would you mind standing so everybody knows who you are, please? <laughs> please, one more round. Speaking of, I'm still trying to work this next one out, but anyway. Uh, <laughs> this is the cadenza, and it's called that because it was written as a cadenza. But I'm going to play it out of context, because it's a lot of fun techniques. Cherry vanilla, and it does have a little bit of boots in it, so just know that. Um, and the, uh, Arnold Palmer will not have any alcohol unless you brought a flask, which I wouldn't blame you. In any case, thank you all so much for being here. I hope you've enjoyed it. I think we're ready to roll. Dan, would you hit it, please?
to go 